I want to show you real quick. There's some parts of the jacket that are really important to get right that a lot of guys actually get wrong. Um, and they're, they're things that most guys tend to get wrong, actually. They're really, really simple things to correct. And there's, there's simple things to look for that are key elements, specifically things that um, are sometimes hard to change or that you can't change later on that you really want to make sure that you get right up front. And then if you can get those right up front, you can do some small tweaks to kind of get them right. So I'll take you through a series of jackets going from poor fit, which is unfortunately what most guys are in, and then resulting in something that's a much closer fit. So first one I'm going to put you in, you're really probably about a 41, 42 in the chest. This is a 44, so this is a size up, and what tends to happen is if we go to department stores, most guys, unless it's a younger guy there, or if they don't have a good understanding of suits and what a modern relevant fit is, are going to throw you in something that's maybe a size up as opposed to a size down. And so this is going to be a good representation of what might happen if an older gentleman might put you in a suit from a department store. So let's slide this on, and I'll show you a couple of the things. And this is going to be a far from perfect fit, and definitely not what you're used to. Right, yeah. So like, you button this up, and as funny as it seems to have this on you, um, because what you would normally wear is a short in the arm. Yeah. Now that's the thing. I mean, this seems humorous because there's so much space in this. It's kind of crazy. It's also hard to see in the camera maybe, but this has a boxy look to it, and that's because the pad on the shoulder is a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. And it also overhangs. Your shoulder slope actually starts back in here. What you have here is way too much space. Too much space through here, too much space through here. The whole thing is just too big. The unfortunate part about that though, is that if this was a short, this length would be a little bit shorter, and these sleeves would fit. And people wear that really? all the time. So don't do that. <laughs> That's what we really want to get guys to do is, is understand, like, take your time when you're shopping, Especially if you're not doing custom, you want to take your time, try on several sizes, get your base chest measurement, which is going to be something like 38, 39, 40, 42, and that's how they size suits, something like a 40 regular or a 40 short, which is probably what's going to be the best fit for you. Um, and take your time to try on several sizes, give yourself a chance to see for a second how it feels to put on all these different sizes. And even if it feels a little bit tight at first, um, don't discount that. That might be the right fit still. But. And just that top one. <laughs> so this one probably feels a lot better. Yeah. Probably feels a lot closer up here. And that's because some of the parts still through the chest, it's a little bit tighter, but it is a good fit still. Mm -hmm. This is right where it needs to be. This is starting to fall right at your natural shoulder line. And you can see it doesn't look boxy. It's a lot smoother of a line right here. And even though that feels a little bit slimmer, um, it's not uncomfortable, right? Like no, you can no, go no. through your basic range of motions and it's pretty easy to do. Yeah. Now the part of this that doesn't work so much on you is here. This is still too loose. Let's finally, let's take this one off. I'm going to actually toss you in my jacket because our measurements are really close. Yeah. Let's slide this on. Lost a few pounds. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't worry. Alright. So right, this is already much, much better, right? And so mm -hmm. you can kind of see what's happening. Now this is a fun pattern, which is a lot different looking than this, but the important things um, are here and here and then kind of through here. So we've got a much softer shoulder. We don't have a big, thick, stiff shoulder pad. We went a lot softer. Mm -hmm. We cut it in um, right where your natural shoulder line starts to happen. So you can see both sides just look a lot cleaner. Uh, we've got the chest a lot more fitted through here, but still enough room that you can move around a little bit. Yeah. And then the waistline too. We don't want it too tight because we want to. We don't want to create this um, X yeah, little tension tightness kind of through there. That would be too tight, and some guys kind of go the wrong way and they do that as well. This is really good for you, actually, though. This is just a little bit of room. There might be an inch, inch and a half, two inches if you pull it away from your waist mm -hmm. uh, of space, just kind of like that. Um, but it's perfect because what it does is it kind of creates this suppression through the sides there, shows off the shape, and then again for yeah. the length. Even though my arms are longer than yours. And roll this up just a minute. A good length. You can see that the length of this jacket is very much like what I was just telling you. Which then, if these were chinos or even these, you know, joggers like you have or denim or whatever, that's a really great length to be able to pair that with them without it looking too long. Because if you take a long suit jacket and try to pull it off as a blazer or a sports coat, a lot of people can tell it just doesn't look right. That does look right, though.
Awesome, dude. Shark, man. All right, thanks. This is great. Cool. Give me my jacket back. <laughs> <laughs>